Maybe you struggle with seasonal affective disorder. That's pretty common around this time of year. In the fall and the winter months, it starts to get dark and gloomy outside a day like today. Well, I've got a way that can help you and definitely helps me perk up your home and keep your mood boosted. So are you a plant parent yet? Low maintenance to high, I guarantee there's a plant out there that could be just the right fit for you. Hey, I'm Amy, this is Cody, and I want to show you what I found. This little guy, some kind of evergreen that was just kind of forgotten in the lawn and mowed over, but I pulled him out and he looks quite like a bonsai to me. I am making a big old mess with dirt on my table today, and I'm going to show you how I'm going to make a bonsai arrangement to just brighten up my home on those rainy, gloomy days, perk up my home a little bit. I've always wanted a bonsai tree. I want to see if I can make this, as Bob Ross says, a happy little tree again. So come join me and Cody in making a mess with some dirt all over my table, and maybe it'll inspire you to look down for the wonder underfoot too. So here's the little evergreen. You can see him a little bit better on here. And you can see that he does have a little bit of, I, I don't know if you call that burn or just dying little branches. I, I'm assuming that's because he got mowed over a few times. But um, I'm gonna go ahead and take a planter. Thank you to my friend Jana for giving this to me. And I have rocks in the bottom and some sand for good drainage some porous kind of potting soil, and then just some dirt. But I'm gonna stick him in here and then add some elements around him to just make him look like an interesting landscape in a pot. So what I'm gonna do first is see what I should probably take out. He's a little bit heavier on this side than on this side. I'm gonna break off a few pieces. Twist it off maybe, he's pretty, pretty tough guy. I think he's a little bit long here, so I'm gonna pinch him and maybe that'll help him spread his roots a little bit as well. He's got some dead stuff on him that I'm gonna just pinch off. Look a little bit brighter. Just pulling off the dead things. Don't wanna hurt him. Okay, I think he's interesting enough like that. I think I like that look, so now I'm going to stick him into my soil. I'm not sure why it's a him. I think it's because a bonsai sounds like a boy to me, but I think I need to make him a little bit taller got some pearls in it to hopefully help with the aeration so that it doesn't get too soggy because this this particular pot does not have drainage so. I'm definitely not an expert or anything definitely an amateur gardener but I just have fun with it and a lot of times things go okay but it's the process and just the fun of it that I wanted to share with you today I'm I'm no bonsai expert, for sure, but I could become one, so we'll see. <laughs> and I don't bother wearing gloves. I said in my ninja gardening video that studies actually show that soil and the microbes in it is very good for mental health, so if you're battling seasonal affective disorder, maybe digging in the dirt will help in more ways than one. I'm liking that. I think this is gonna be the front with him bending forward. Then something else I went and grabbed from underfoot outside are elements from my yard. These are just weeds, but I just think they're so pretty and I'm just gonna stick it in around. Today is my laundry day and cooking day that I need to do since we don't have a lot of appointments today. I told my kids I'd make waffles for them and but before that i was just gonna clean up my yard for fall and uh, bring in some plants that need to be winterized so stick this back here it might be a little tall but we'll do it anyway i like the pop of purple i've got this little gnome and I think they're kind of cute. My mom and I used to hide one around the house and anytime she would find it, she'd move it. Anytime I would find it, I'd move it. So I think they're whimsical and fun. I'm not sure, I think I'm gonna move them over a little bit actually instead of centering them because then you can see the rest of the stuff going on. I'm also going to be adding different rocks and mica and uh, this I think is actually coal. 
and I found that washed up on a beach and just the different beautiful things that you can find in nature. I just love God's creation and the beauty in it. So that's an idea. And I like grabbing the moss around the yard and throwing it in a planter. It just brightens it up and in such a vibrant green. You can step on this stuff and it's still resilient and I just, I like the metaphor. Got some wild strawberry in there. Got this shag carpet kind of moss. And I'm just smushing on. Do you think I should put a pearl in there? I don't know. There's a little violet in there. Whatever these little pink weeds are. I like it. I don't know. This piece of mica is pretty cool, but I don't think he's gonna fit. I think we're gonna take out this big guy. I know he's cool. And just put a little one in. Maybe we'll save the mica for a different one. Good water. And there's my bonsai tree for free. Well, if you enjoyed my little project and just seeing what I do to combat seasonal affective disorder, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe. I never know what kind of creative mess I'm gonna be making next, but if you wanna follow along, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And now I'm gonna go finish getting my plant stand set up so that I can put my pants, pants so that I can put my plants in. If you're a plant lover like me, you know it's really sad when you forget some plants outside that are supposed to be inside in the colder months. So I'm gonna go be a responsible plant owner and take care of them. Thanks for watching. See you later.